Hi y'all, just wanted to make a quick video on our 2023 Bronco that we received in March. Just wanted to make a quick video on it for you and give you my thoughts on it. Note that this is a wild track package. Um, I have this thing fully PPF coated. I got it black from the manufacturer and I went ahead and put PPF on it as an upgrade to go ahead and protect it. So it is a full PPF. That's why I don't have my wild track stamp on the side. But as you can see, we've got uh, quite a few things. I did signature LEDs with the wild track. I swapped those out for some Alpha Rex lights, and I really do like these. I got them on surplus for $1,200 on website. So after it was all said and done, I ended up swapping out my signature LEDs, and I ended up probably spending about $700 at the end of the day. It wasn't too terrible to put this all together, and I think anybody can really do it if uh, if they want to. It's not a hard process to take the lights out and put new ones in and program them. Uh, so it is uh, definitely an upgrade in my opinion that I feel like if you want them, I would highly recommend them. And also we got the all steel capable bumper instead of our modular bumper. I personally wanted a capable bumper over the modular. Uh, that was just my personal opinion. I feel like the modular bumper will give you a ton of more options that you can put on, but for me, the capable bumper did it enough for me in our area. Now, a lot of people ask too about the rock rails. These rock rails are actually from a friend of mine who has a Badlands, and he upgraded his rails, so him and I swapped. Um, I took his OEM rock rails and ended up putting it on the Wild Track. Note that the Wild Track does not come with rock rails as a standard option, that is only on the Badlands. And going around, you can just see we continued the PPF all around, did the black window tinting to match the dark color, and uh, I haven't washed this thing in a, a month or so. I need to go ahead and probably wash it up, but as you can tell, I fully recommend any type of PPF coating to protect your vehicle. Um, we're familiar with it on our prior cars we've had, and I can honestly say it's one of the best investments you can do to protect your vehicle and I also get the question uh, you know from friends what do you travel with you know as we go out in the woods quite often here in the southeast I got my camping bag my travel bag I have a lot of stuff in there you know you want a full recovery kit uh, just in case you get stuck so we have a full recovery kit in here I use our 42 quart cooler here to store any additional stuff honestly for those who are going on trips having a cooler and storing your stuff in it is a huge benefit so it's not rattling back here and just going all over the place. But just get yourself a nice cooler. It could be an igloo or anything. This is a Rogers Sporting Goods cooler I got that's very similar to a Yeti. Um, but no, it can just it's great for storage when you're on the road. Again, I got the Molly panels up here just for additional parts and pieces, any type of tools or anything you may need. And then we have a medical bag just in case we're out in the field and one of us need it uh, for any type of bandaging or attention. Um, these are my recovery boards that I have back here just stuffed away uh, I would recommend getting a good pair of recovery boards um, just in case you're by yourself or with a friend those recovery boards I've had for years and have worked really well for me they're a great product I'll link them in the description and note with the wild track you do get leather seats um, I thought these were going to be the vinyl that you see that washable vinyl that you see in the Badlands and other base models but this is actually real leather in the wild track um, it's very nice. I like it. Um, but do I like cleaning it? No. I will say that personally. Uh, as for all my, you know, covers and such on the floor that I've gotten, those are all from Mabbit. Great company out there that makes incredible products. I would give them a shout or check out their product on Amazon if you need any type of additional Bronco gear. And those that have asked me, you know, how much do I love this vehicle? I absolutely love it. It is very comfortable to drive, super good on the roads. You know, it hits the trails really well. You got that front and rear lock with a sway bar disconnect on the wild track, and the multiple goat modes allow you to go wherever you need. But throughout our 5,000 miles, I will say this vehicle has definitely met every expectation my family and myself have needed for any type of wilderness trips or trail rides or just getting around town in general. But that's all I have just for a short summary of our vehicle. Like I said, absolutely recommend these things. The price tag is a little high, but if you're able to get price protection from Ford through manufacturing, 
I highly recommend one of these. Uh, we've had a Jeep in the past and just upgrading to this Bronco has been a dream for me. I'm a huge Ford guy uh, just from the past with my F-150. Jumping into this with a more suitable family vehicle with uh, our kid and just gives us a really comfortable ride and still has that capability for off-road. If there's anything else you'd like to know, feel free to give me a comment and I'll link any of the accessories I have in the description below. Thanks.